There's a freaking quarter million dollar Ferrari in here. First of all, it's a 458. Those have depreciated. It's a 458 Spider. Oh, that dope power hardtop. On today's episode of Watch Jericho, a lot of you guys have been asking where Zach's been. He's hey. over here at his shop. Working. Busy. What is going on guys? I'm Watch Jay Ergo and today, like I said, I'm here with Zach in his shop because there's something cool here. The Police Interceptor Ford Explorer. 2022? 2022. This is super weird to see because this is a 2022. And I'm going to show you guys the keys right now and uh, I'd say anybody that knows any Ford key is going to be mind blown. This is the 1994 Ford Taurus <laughs> remote and this is, uh, I'll cover up the key here. This is the key. What on earth? Can police not have nice things? Is that like, why won't they give them the like remote start nice key? I don't get it. Like, I guess it's cheap to make this key. It is cheap to make this key and these remotes are like $1 on Amazon. So maybe that makes sense. That's the only thing I can think of why they didn't just give them the sweet new key. This probably because they get lost. They, I bet they get lost too. Here we have this Ford Explorer. Um, of course, it's a pretty normal police interceptor loadout. It's got the LED fog spotlight that comes from the factory uh, with the police interceptors now. Looks cool. Normal modern switch gear throughout. And this is like a pretty typical Ford Explorer door. Uh, just kind of turned down, like everything's turned all the way down. Auto headlights, which is really cool. Oop, turn those back off. Apparently they will turn on with the car off. And there's your dimmer for the cluster. There's the handle for the for the street sweeper or whatever everybody calls that light. Um, everything else in here is the same as a, the most base model Ford Focus S for like the last 20 years. Interestingly, it has a column shifter, which is pretty much gone. Like you don't find column shifters in anything anymore with a button that says low gear. So that's kind of interesting there. The steering wheel has more controls than most, uh, there's all of these buttons here uh, around the cruise control and they're numbered, like you can put in codes, which technically you can, we'll talk more about that in a minute. You do have media controls, which is nice, uh, Bluetooth, because obviously police need to be able to concentrate on the road, so they do get Bluetooth controls and all kinds of controls for the uh, gauges and things like that. Over here, the simplest audio system you've ever seen in your life, it has six preset buttons. A weird button there that has like a snowflake and. It looks like a snow drift, it must be a weather button. And then here's your radio controls down there with hazards. Climate control is kind of modern looking and it stands out from the rest of the car, which is pretty wild. Uh, and then down here is, I don't, I guess this is for the rear. I don't know why, but this is the front climate control. This has to be the rear down here with its own power button and its own fan controls and stuff like that. Electronic parking brake, it sounds like. There you go. Once it's set, it can't be turned off unless the key's in, it looks like. You've got a USB port down there for your media. I'm assuming this will be a 12 volt outlet right there. And of course, this huge center for you to mount all of your siren controls, laptop, all that good stuff, whatever uh, upfitting you need to do on the vehicle. So LED interior lights that are red. Nice Is, factory. Yeah, keep your vision. And these ones, I yep, these ones are white. So that's pretty cool. There's a lock button up here for the rear hatch. They have lighted mirrors. I'm gonna go with no. Nope, no lighted mirrors. I mean, it's not a luxury car. Auto dimming rear view mirror. And there's another big empty space here where you could put like, I guess your stalker radar and stuff like that. Um, this is a supervisor car. So I don't know if it'll get upfitted any more than this, maybe with lights and stuff, but that's about it. All the stuff Ford gives you for uh, extra harnesses, manual, all that good stuff's in there. Cloth seats. These are comfy cloth seats, Dude, this honestly. This is actually pretty comfy to sit in. Yeah, it does seem like you could roll around in this for a long time. And it smells good. It smells amazing. All the plastic, <laughs> the plastic just smells great. Other than that, it's a, it looks sparse, but it kind of has all the options you'd expect. Uh, there's a rear wiper, front wipers, and the rear camera, the backup camera, you can turn on a sprayer whenever you spray the windshield and stuff like that. It'll blast the camera off so you can hopefully see where you're backing up. Your camera's actually in your mirror. Oh, is it? Oh, let's check this out. Okay, so parking brake locked on. So I think there it shut back off. All right, let's put it in reverse. And there's that camera. And sorry about the do 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 do. There's your parking sensors as well. 
So color screen in the cluster, you do have the certified calibration on the speedometer there and a super simple gauge cluster that honestly looks very modern because it's just flat looking and it does everything you need. You got coolant temp, a gas gauge, what gear you're in and a speedometer and attack. There's your settings. You can actually see your media that's playing, <laughs> Jovi. And there's your speedometer, a few things about the vehicle and uh, vehicle settings. So speaking of the climate control, these things have a special mode, the police interceptor explorers, called like COVID destruction mode. It's sanitization mode, I don't know, whatever they're calling it. You type in a code that we don't know, unfortunately, here on the cruise control section of the steering wheel, and it will make the vehicle heat to 133 degrees for 15 minutes. It'll even raise the engine temperature. So it idles up, starts putting a bunch of heat in the vehicle, and then it just cooks everything inside. So if you had, if you were hauling somebody to jail and you're afraid they might be sick or they have COVID history or something like that, you can sanitize the vehicle by cooking the inside, which is super crazy. Work truck interior, basically, it has kind of built in uh, diamond plate floor mat looking stuff there, even though it's all just part of the rubber molded floor. And back here in the back, it has vinyl seats and no door handles. So we got the door handle delete there. So once you're in the back, you can't just hop out. Um, and like I said, this is a supervisor car. It doesn't have a uh, partition or anything like that, although it might in the future. Uh, these are super nice seats. I think these are the factory seats you get in all the cars. <laughs> Somebody's gonna find a way to ruin those seats. Um, well, I think it's getting the lights and partition. Oh, okay. After, well, we're hmm. take that there. You think they'd do a plastic seat? You would think. You would think. But I'd be happy about that. If I were in the back of one. Oh, absolutely. So in, the, by the way, this does not give you any indication that it's locked or unlocked. Huh. There's like, you can't- Oh, it never flashes the lights or anything? It flashes lights, you can't hear it. Oh, you just hear the locks. I mean, that's, that's it. Special order fleet. Okay, so you push the button and now I can push the button. Teamwork. Assisted. Teamwork. And it's not electric. There's that uh, wiper line for the sprayer there. And uh, all solid plastic full-size spare eagle enforcer the police interceptor spec there so these might be run flat I don't remember if they are but it's a really heavy duty tire this is a really nice storage area and there's a light there 12 volt power pretty sparse compared to all the other explorers that's for sure I'm not sure to show all of this, such a cool looking front end uh, so the window sticker here, uh, it talks about it being a police interceptor. This has the 3.3 liter V6, non-turbo, so I bet that never dies. And then uh, it costs 610 extra dollars for that extra climate control in the back. It has the handling package, uh, the backup camera is thrown in for free, and the reverse sensing system costs money, which is kind of interesting. Well, we can't drive this one. I know it's uh, pretty easy to just run to the dealership and grab one of these and drive it, but uh, I don't have one of those lined up, so that is my uh, quick tour of the Police Interceptor Explorer. A weird, quirky car. I mean, it just the, from the keys to the special radio, all that stuff, really odd and uh, kind of cool. I bet that thing is absolutely bulletproof. I mean, I'm following it down the road right now and the rear end looks like it's built like a tank. Well, maybe one day I'll get to drive one of those new Explorer Pursuits. Uh, obviously, I'm a big fan of the Caprice PPV, mostly legit street cars. Caprice PPV, uh, that is a wild card. It's honestly nothing like the police cars. It's a race car at this point. Um, and Crown Vicks have always been tanks. Police cars are just really interesting. And I think it's cool to see behind the scenes like that. Also, did you see that blind spot information system that uses uh, the radar from Bliss to show you threats around the vehicle? <laughs> That's so cool. And uh, they can also put their laptop in the back of the car and use that giant touch screen if they option it with that to uh, just control the entire laptop. Also a cool feature. Anyway, let's get over to my neighbors, BG, and watch them do the groundbreaking on their brand new building. All right, guys, we are headed down the street to check out our neighbor's new place. This used to be filled with buildings. There's a building there, a building there, a house there. They just knocked all of those down. And right now, they are groundbreaking on their new gigantic expansion. And our neighbor, of course, is BG. Good friends, good neighbors. They've been helping me out with a whole lot of stuff over well, since we moved into the building down the street and uh, taking care of me when I need stuff quick because they have about one of everything in that building. We want to thank everybody that's been part of this little project. I'll start with George. We've got a lot of great help from the city. We really appreciate it. But for all of you employees that work in here, how much are you going to appreciate this new building? Quite a bit. We need it, guys. We've, uh, we've been working 
working in very small space for a long time. The more we expand, the more we need it. So we appreciate all the help. We appreciate the time. Diane and David Grant started here, and we're excited to be part of it. All right. I don't have too much to say, but we need to get some dirt moved because these guys are moving a lot more dirt than we are. So <laughs> here's the first cut. You got all that you need to put them to work. All right, guys, that was it. They hooked me up with some awesome swag. They have their own energy drink, too, called uh, HPR, the Human Performance Restoration. They're doing a couple more rounds, getting some group pictures and everything like that. And uh, I mean, they knocked down all these buildings in a house in like two days, and they're gonna have all this dirt moved. And, I don't know, end of the day is what it looks like with how fast they're moving these trucks in and out. So uh, this is going to be really cool to have a gigantic manufacturing facility right beside the shop. And that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchchairgar.com for cool shirts just like this. Shout out to Zach for letting me check out that new Explorer Pursuit and shout out to BG for being awesome neighbors and uh, inviting me down to their groundbreaking. It came with free BG energy drinks and candy and all kinds of cool stuff too. Please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do and I will talk to you next time. Should I make a video about this at some point? I, I just took it to Arkansas with Hoovy and the whole crew and had one of the greatest weekends ever. Uh, I really never talk about this car, but it's like, ah, oh, I don't think I own anything better than this.